Hello guys, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's review is going to be a little different. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to chassis swap two NASCAR Diecasts. So, this Grey Golding Dr. Pepper car is a gold series. It has the plastic bottom and the non-painted rims. But I really like this paint scheme, and I would like it to have a metal bottom. So I bought this Daniel Suarez Stanley paint scheme with the metal bottom. The ARC, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna switch them. This is especially useful with the 2018 diecast, like this one right here. This was chassis swapped to a metal bottom, so it feels a lot better. So this will help you. So first, let's get on how to take apart the car. I have already taken apart the Daniel Suarez car. There's the car. Here's chassis. Here's a look at the chassis if you would like a look at it. Suspension works and everything. It's got metal, engine, nothing. So I'm going to teach you how to chassis swap. So what you're going to need is you're going to need these right here. They are Stanley, so it is perfect for this review. Let's get into it. Oh, I just broke it. I can fix that. So, what I like to use, I like to use a flathead screwdriver because it grips the screws better. Right there. I like a flathead because it grips them better. So, what you're going to do is you're going to flip over the car. And you're going to start unscrewing. So, now that you have all the screws off, there's going to be a guard right here. Like this gonna be a guard right here it's gonna be glued on so what I do is I take my Phillips head screwdriver and I wedge it in there to break the glue like that and then it comes off very easily and if you break it it doesn't matter it doesn't do anything so now the screws are all taken off if it wants to come out oh I gotta unscrew one a little bit more There we go. Let that one fall. Put it over with the rest of the screws. Don't lose your screws. And you have the bottom. Boom. Plastic. And the metal is a lot better. So, let's go into that. So, on this Dr. Pepper car, there are hinge slots so you can put hinges in but Lionel puts a guard right there so you can't but on the this one it does have the hinges so you just steal the hinges from one car and put it on the other and I will do that right now so you're going to want a really really small Phillips head screwdriver like that and you're gonna start unscrewing they might be a little tough just put a little bit of pressure and they will come off there you go coming off It should just come off if I unscrew it a little bit more. There you go. And it comes off nice and clean. There's your deck lid. Now you will get the, the guard off of this. And there's your... Oh, just lost some screws. Okay, that's not good. I don't found them. Okay, right. so you have got to keep these screws because these screws are super duper tiny. So you've got to keep track of them. Now on the... Keep them over with your pile of screws. 
Now, you have your uh, ARC diecast. There are hinges, and it's the exact same method of taking those off. So I will do that right now. Oh, wrong screwdriver. There we go. Oh, there goes one. There goes the other. And the hinge comes off. Hinge comes off. And all the hinges come off. These are extremely small, so make sure you keep track of them or you are never going to find them again. Especially if you have carpet. So this is the hinge right here. This is the hinge. What you're going to do is you're going to take it onto this car. I'll take it onto this car. And you're going to line up the holes. It's actually a very easy process. It's just hard to make it to where y'all can see it. There you go. Get it on there. Take one of your screws. Line it up. Ah, it's so hard to get this on camera. Ah, I just lost the screw. Oh, this is hard to get on camera. I'm sorry if this is really bad. Mm. Hold on. Ah, I just think I just lost a screw. Oh, I hear it. Oh, there it is. So you're going to want to be super careful with these because if you lose it, good luck getting pieces for it. Okay, this is getting really frustrating. This isn't that hard to do, but this one isn't wanting to cooperate. Uh, I had it the wrong way. I had it the wrong way. I am dumb. There we go. Put it in there. Okay, I got it in. Got the screw in. Taking it apart. Don't tighten them too tight, because if you want to do this to another car, you might be able to do it. Next, you get the other hinge. I found a way to do it easily. You put the hinge, put the hinge in. And then, put it in the hole right there. And then you just line it up. And then, oh, it just fell out, of course. Okay, finally got it in. Now you're going to take the deck lid. I'm going to put it right there. And you're going to put it onto the die cast, line it up with the holes, there you go, then you're going to go to the bottom, and then you're just going to screw it in, There's one, and then you get the other one. OK, 
Come on. There you go. And then you screw it in. And then when you screw that in, you should have a working deck lid. There. Now you have a working deck lid. It's easier than how, than how I made it look. It's just hard to get this on camera. So my apologies for making it look really hard. But now you take your metal die cast bottom and you just slip it right on. They have to be the same like make. So you can't do so you can't do a Toyota and a Chevy or a Ford and a Toyota. You have to be the same make. Just push it in. Boom. That is how you get a cheaper car onto a nicer body. And you have all of the features of the nicer one. This one even has working roof flaps, so it's like really a nicer one. They are C. And then you have the engine. And then you screw everything back on. So you got a lot more pieces to do after this. Um put this aside. I'll screw in that later because it's just screwing in, so it's not that hard. But on the on the guard, you gotta put the guard somewhere. So what you're gonna do is is you're gonna take the guard take the guard and you just fit it into into its place. And then you just screw it in. There you go. You just screw it in, you screw everything in. You put the deck lid in, you screw that in, and everything is great. The deck lid will not open anymore, but that's okay. And then your deck lid will just be like this. Your deck lid will just stay right there and not move. So pick a car you're not a huge fan of to do this. And then you put it on here, the cheaper body, and there you go. That is how you chassis swap two NASCAR diecasts and get the deck lid. I think this car looks great now. I am very happy with how it turned out. Get all the details of the deck lid. 23. I will do a review of both of these cars eventually. So, thank you for watching. This has been How to Chassis Swap to NASCAR Diecast and Get the Trunk to Open. Thank you for watching.